Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode on the island and uh, Broodmother Day today. But we're at the base because I've been <laughs> raising up a ton of creatures. Alright, um... Yeah, you should be good for now. So... Yeah, I should probably go ahead and take you off of breeding, actually. There we go. I've got... Ten trikes raised up, and actually I like the I saved a bunch of colors as I was raising them, and I like how it turned out. Actually, it turned out really, really nice. I got a lot of the same colors actually on my uh, Carnos, and I've got it's eight Carnos here. I've got ten trikes. We're gonna be using those against the brood mother. And in case the Carnos aren't quite enough, or which I kind of doubt actually, I, I know they're gonna be enough. But I've got 10 aloes raised up over here. Actually, is it 10 or is it 12? Uh, it's what, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, okay. And I've got 10 more babies in reserve that I can raise up for probably doing the tech cave with. And then I've got 18 therizinos over here. And... These guys I couldn't get a good stable color on, so I'm going to be using the Diner Colorizer on them. Uh, but these are their base stats after imprint. 11,200 health, 690 melee damage. Now, one of the... Uh, let's uh, get most of these guys put away, actually. At least the... The Carnos and the Trikes, right? I'm going to leave one of each out, I think. No, actually here. I'm gonna put you away for a second too. Okay. So let's go try out our Carno. See what kind of damage we're looking at with these guys. And there's like nothing up here. Everything eventually migrates to my base and gets taken out by the plant species X. So. Yeah, the one downside of Cardinals is how loud they are. Ah, here we go. Oh, hi! So, the Carnos, 958 damage. Uh, that's without meat boost. That is with imprint bonus. Actually, oh, I forgot to imprint the Carnos. Ooh. Right, so the Carnos aren't going to be as sturdy as I thought. So yeah, 958. That's not bad, though. I mean, that is honestly not bad. 577 with the headbutt. Okay. I have a feeling that was because of the uh, mate boost. Now, let's go ahead and pull out a trike. Twelve hundred damage with trike. And they actually have a pretty decent turn of speed. Oh, that's right, you don't actually have to physically attack, do you? Uh, but yeah, the uh, the trikes, I think they're going to do rather well for themselves. And the fact that uh, they take reduced uh, projectile damage to the face, well, it's a breed mother fight, right? Uh, let's go ahead and grab out Lara. I'm just going to run over Green Ob. Uh, I need to grab artifacts and stuff. I do have my otter with me, so. At least I'll be able to use the otter to carry the extra artifacts over. I need to bring a box over then. I kept having to run back and forth last time when I was fighting the Mesopith, or not Meso, uh, Megapithecus. And, uh, 
That ate up a lot of time. Man, it's a shame I didn't imprint the car notes, though. Oh, uh, well, I have a... Uh, I have a lot of backup car notes in case I need to uh, maybe get some imprinted ones. So I'm... Actually, that's all Therzinos. Uh, yeah. I got a bunch of Carno eggs in here. I could probably go ahead and hatch up and hatch up and raise up. So it is. Uh, is it clever? No, it's a uh, hunter. Massive. It is clever, isn't it? For the. Uh, oh, and I still need to go to get more cunning artifacts too. Completely spaced on that. That's cunning. Immune, Skylord, and Strong for the Dragons, so yeah. And... Let's go ahead. Hunter Massive. And then it is going to be 15 Archie Talons. Uh, it's like 15 Sarku skin, I think, right? 15 Titanobo Venom. And... Is this Sauropod Vertebrae? I think it is, isn't it? Ugh. <laughs> it is a mess outside of my front door right now. Actually, I think instead of taking Lara over, I'm just gonna fly. I've got a bunch of my uh, my guys put away as well. Went ahead and threw them into soul balls and put them in a soul terminal. Uh, the reason being is, well, between the breeding still going on over there, which probably should stop. Uh, I should probably get some more aloes, actually, just in case. Uh, but between that setup over there and everybody I was raising up, it was really starting to impact my frames around my base with that many dinosaurs just sitting around. But uh, I'll meet everybody back over at the obelisk. All right, so I had to run back because I forgot my Uteranus. And all I was there, I just went ahead and grabbed a box to put the extra artifacts in. Just in case, like, the worst does happen, I don't end up losing my otter with all the artifacts in it as well. I did grab extras, but uh, I didn't really grab all that many extras, so... Now, trikes are a little bit bigger, but they're still, like, smaller than, like, spinos, so shouldn't have any problem getting these guys in. Oh, you're a little far back. And then our UT. There we go. And then I don't need to pop Hellpig out. So that is 19 dinosaurs plus 20 for the otter on my shoulders, which I don't think I'm going to need to bring to uh, to this fight. So actually, we'll just... Uh, if you guys here... Oh, you're following me? Please don't. How long have you been following me for, anyway? And then all the apex drops are in the bird. So let's go ahead... Um, make sure you are all the way in. You're the only one I'm kind of, you know, slightly concerned about. But, uh... I love how you can actually, like, stand on each Rana's head. Alright. Such a cool teleport effect, too. It really is. Okay, trikes, <laughs> get in there. Oh, am I on a 
I was, I was on a whistle group, okay. And... It's weird how it played the sunset music <laughs> in the middle of a boss fight. Yeah, I don't think there's a problem here. Hey, more tech stuff. Tech building stuff, anyway. And so what all did I get? I got 20 element. Okay. See, I forgot Carnos were on group one, and I've been running around on ordering group one forever. Definitely kind of a creepy, eerie place to be, isn't it? So how did you guys uh, fare? Uh, about a thousand. Is that a thousand? Um, a bit, yeah. I mean, 600 on this one. Uh, how about the Carnos? They took a bit of a beating first before the track showed up. 900. Okay. I mean, not a problem. I have Hellpig in my inventory with the full food stats, so... <laughs> Floating you, Tyrannus. Uh, everybody's inside the, uh, the circle, right? Still, Yeah, okay. Just making sure that nobody flew out. And... One, two, three. One, two... Three, four. Let's go ahead and get Hellpig out. There you go. You can do your magic for a little bit here. Sweet. I did remember correctly. I was just like, oh, I hope I didn't screw this up. <laughs> All right. And you can have that stuff. Alright, how is your food stat? Your food stat is drained. Okay, go back in the ball. You're not going to be doing any more help you know, whenever you're starving, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's full, so. It still bugs me, though. I mean, why the hell do Carnos have nipples? Alright. Get in on the beta now. Can I not? Okay. There. That's better. Yeah, one downside of the Broodmother fight is it's the only boss that comes at you right away. Like, Megapiclicus, you gotta go get. Usually, Dragon, you have to wait for it to come on down. Get in there. Kill. Thank you. Oh, and they get a rivalry buff. I just noticed the trikes. They get the rivalry buff against her, too. That is awesome. God, the trikes are actually good in boss fights. I should probably gamma up so we can see what we're doing here. Yeah, they're having a little more of a struggle this time. We're not exactly getting a real good surround on her is the problem, so... Oh, I got poisoned somehow. Wow. Yeah, I'm... I'm not getting a whole lot of trikes in there. It's mainly the Carnos in the front line right now. A couple of trikes are in there, but... Well, I got tech boots unlocked. Cool. And a whole lot more tech building supplies. Alright. So, oh yeah, you, you took a bunch of damage, didn't you, though? 
Yeah, they're going to need a lot more healing up before the alpha, and I probably... Let's go uh, see if we can find ourselves a Carno to check on. There you go. Uh, you've actually got a weaker saddle, and you took comparable or even slightly less damage. Well, I guess I'll have to check them more. Okay, you. You're up front. Ah, uh, 6k. Actually, that's not bad. Here, have some more health, though. Three levels on this one. Alright, so... Let me down. Dang it. I can't even belly crawl out from underneath these guys. Oh well. You can actually stand on trikes, so... That does help a bit. Uh, let's get Hellpig down. And... Pull for raw meat. That'll let you heal for a bit, and I need to go get some food for Hellpig now. Alright, I think we're ready for Alpha, and I swapped out six trikes for six aloes. Since the trikes seem to have a hard time getting us around on the boss, I figured it might not be a bad idea. And. You're a little close to the edge there, buddy. Right. Oh, hell. Oh, wait, cool. I actually managed to get the, uh, UT. Sweet. Still have not come up with a good name for her, though. Definitely gonna have to do that before we do the, uh, the Overseer, though. Okay. Yeah, the Allos are definitely doing more damage. There we go. I uh, put the trikes onto their own whistle group, and I just tried sending some behind her, and then... And then around, you know, I set everybody to aggressive after that, so. Uh, the aloes are making a huge difference, though. Yeah. Oh, I lost a Carno though. Ooh. Dang. But uh Yeah, that's uh that's Alpha Brood Mama down. Carnos weren't quite leveled enough. Actually I wonder if I'd had just you know nineteen Carnos at a UD. I was actually one creature short too. Because I was leaving room to uh bring my otter in and I ended up not doing that. I wonder if it had just been 19 Carnos at a UD, if uh, it would have gone better. Oh, Carnos need a pack bonus, they really do. So how hurt are like you? Oh, okay, barely. Like half. Oh, okay, yeah, you're down to about 3k. You were on the front lines, you're down to 4. Okay. Yeah, well, you've got a 300 armor saddle though too, so... I knew the aloes would be... Oh, if it went bad, the aloes would definitely be the last one standing. But, uh... Oh, like 1400 on that. Here, stop. Thank you. Uh, yeah. No, I think we proved though that, uh... Trikes can actually be kind of viable boss creatures. Maybe a little more health than what I gave him, but uh, 
you can definitely deal out the damage. Which is kind of funny, because Trikes are basically like they're your first berry gatherer, maybe, first or second. And after that, it's just something you pick on for the rest of your playthrough. Eh, 5k. Ah, uh, you lost about 5k as well, but you also had a lot more uh, starting health. And I wasn't 100% certain how well it was going to go, so I put all my weapons in the bird. I was like, I'm not risking it. But we got ourselves a ton more element, which is awesome. Yeah, everything not easily replaceable, I uh, put into the bird. We got our three trophies, flags, 224 element. And now we got to pick everybody up. There we go. I don't think I really want to worry about any of this stuff. It's all stuff from the spiders. Yeah, there's going to be chitin, there's bunch of stone tools. Yeah, I mean, a few berries here and there, some meat, but yeah, probably not worth taking back. All right. Come here, little man. All right. So, I did lose a Carno Saddle, though. I didn't even think to pick that up. Oh, it was probably under the Broodmother, so... All in all, not really that bad of a boss fight. I mean, it is the Broodmother, so. But we did unlock the tech helmet and the tech boots. So we just have, what, chest and uh, the legs from the dragon. And I'll have definitely more than enough element to actually use that thing during the, uh, the Overseer fight. Which, I mean, technically, it is possible to solo the Overseer on foot. I don't know how much I want to, but it's possible. Alright, so, well, I figure I'm on a roll. Let's try out the Gamma Dragon. And this is 18 Therizinos. Oh, no, I didn't want to upload this driver. Let's not do that. Therizinos, an otter, and a Euteranus. Bring in the otter with this time, because this place is hot. I need to take a drink now, anyway. Bring in my weapons, because, well, I can get a couple pot shots off on the dragon without too many problems. And, uh... Never know. Might help. Berries, go here. Move! <laughs> that thing can hurt the rider. Get these guys courage up. Dragon's coming in for landing already. Now each of my Therizinos also has eight veggie cakes. Okay. You cannot be here when that hits. Ooh, yeah. Ball tactics. Come on here. Okay.
Yeah, you gotta watch out for the Dimorphs, because they will hit the uh, the Rider. So. Now get in there. Ow. Okay, I'm on fire. And... Nuke the dragon. Oh, that is a lot of damage numbers. You do not mess with their Xenos. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm stuck. All right, guys. They didn't even touch it. Oh, wow. Really? Did that thing even breathe fire on the fairies? Well, yeah, it must have, because I was there for part of it. But they didn't even bother touching the veggie cakes. Here, I need, I'm going to grab some of that, though, for my Uteranus. Oh, you got some, too, from killing uh, Dimorphs and Tranodons. I mean, it's not a bad model, but it needs updating. It needs a TLC. <laughs> it really does. Alright, so... Hmm. Oh, hey. Cool. Free egg. Uh, how badly are... It? Okay, you took a bit of damage. Did you... You didn't pop a veggie cake, though. Hey, help me. Come here. Actually, here. Let's, uh... Pull... Uh, raw meat... From everybody... Uh, pull 87 from the Uteranus. Come on, there we go. It's like I had to right click four times before it finally decided. Oh, okay. That's probably pretty good for now. Here, um. Because as soon as I unload the unload Hell Pig, uh, she's going to eat every bit of food in her inventory to fill her hunger up. So, you're, you know, a little bit of berries is not a bad thing. I didn't think to bring more food over in between. Probably because it's food's heavy. But yeah, there we go. So she's going to work on that for a bit. Um... So I need a Giga Heart. I need one, two, three, four, five, 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 and five. Let's just head straight for the beta. I'm gonna leave the like element and stuff here, though. I still have my Dino Colorizer on me. But yeah, I did paint up all my Therizinos. Kind of like how it come out, actually. I didn't really paint them. I just copied one and pasted that color onto all of them. So. There we go. And there's my UT. Worst case scenario, I probably shouldn't be bringing my Chibi with because it took a long time to get that thing up to level 4. Where's the level 3? I oh, know it's level 4, barely. Fairies, go there. 
There. <laughs> Stuck on one. Wow, is someone in the Trandons quick this time? Okay. Hey. Oh, there went my armor. My boots and gloves again, as always, right? I need to see if I can find some cloth boots and gloves that have a better durability. Oh god, I'm almost dead. And run. I have some cold water. Oh, and it's summoning more of those things in? Great. Because Dimorphs go right for the rider. That hurt last time. Lead the Dimorphs through the Therzinos. Ouch. Okay, cool. No, no. No, no, no. Now kill. Oh yeah, the dragon's bite attack's only doing 97. Man, too bad I can't shoot from back to this thing. Not melting as quick this time, but it's uh, taking some damage. There we go. Just hopped up the food real quick, so that way my food drains quicker, and I'll be able to eat again and heal. All right, finally got dedicated storage now that I don't need it anymore. Those there are Xeno saddles, each one took 12,000 wood. And like, I think it was 9,000 metal a piece or something like that. It was... In the... Uh, yeah. Come on. Oh, it did reload. Just wasn't showing the animation. It was, uh, it was insane trying to get that done. Well, not too bad, except for the fact that I almost died. Man. <laughs> you got all kinds of messed up when you hit, didn't you? Bottom jaw's here, top jaw's here. That's the neck. Uh, wow, they actually ate quite a few of the veggie cakes. So, this one ate six. Seven. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get more veggie cakes. So I think the alpha fight's gonna be next episode. Especially since uh, apparently I need more armor. Or better armor, anyway. Oh, that must be out of range. Nope, I just missed the first time. Wow. Alright, uh, yeah, the. This one had four, and I'm surprised it hasn't eaten another one yet. But yeah, the dimorphs are, uh, I can see them as being an issue because yeah they had me down to like 10 health but we got 220 element out of that uh, we got the beta dragon trophy and let's go ahead and drop that stuff off in here uh, yeah I'm gonna have to go back to base grab more veggie cakes and uh, let's see what 18 of them so probably 90 that'd be five more each Although, I don't know, I mean... Wow, this one only had one. So... Really? I can't do a pull for sweet veggie cakes? That is just... not Okay. What I could do... Is... Because you're fine, right? Uh, here, let's pull some raw meat in your inventory just to make sure. 
Yep. Pull from everybody but the Utranus. There you go. And then we'll just grab all this and shunt it over into Hellpig here. Actually, you didn't do the thing. Okay. It might have been because I went into the boss arena. Oh, well. But, uh, yeah. So what I can do then is advanced transfer from Therizinosaur sweet vegetable cake into Argentavis transfer. 95 total. I, they only ate 50 out of all of them. I brought over 144. So... Yeah, I just need to redistribute those a little more evenly and bring some more back, I guess. These things are kind of heavy, aren't they? Yeah, 60 pounds per stack. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.